Today I'm going to show you how you can create a variety listing on eBay. Before we start, please make sure that you already have an account on eBay. If you haven't, you can just go ahead and go to eBay and then sign up and create a new account. Now let's start and create our listing. I'm going to go ahead and click on sell button on top of my screen here and then I'm going to continue and click list an item and over here as you can see you can start creating your listing if this is your first time you can read this instruction to help you create and start your listing so it shows here that you can type keywords like brand model or other details in the search box above and then you can choose from the possible matches to help jumpstart your listing and then you can also preview make changes and then list your item and this is going to be my keyword for today so i'm going to go ahead and click enter and what it does is that it's going to take me to this page where ebay are going to give me some related things to my keyword but because i'm going to create a variety of listings i am not going to click any of them i'm just going to continue and click this continue without match button now I'm going to choose the details of conditions of my items. I'm going to click on new without tags and I'm going to continue my listing. And here is the listing page that you're going to fill. The first thing you'll see is that you're going to have to upload some photos. If you have videos, you can upload it here too. And then you can rename your product. You can also input details such as the size, the colors, the materials, etc. Now, to create a variety listing, you're going to have to click on these three dots on the right top of your screen. Click on settings and now you're going to see that there is an option to turn on variations. As you can see here, you can list different variations of the items, including different colors and sizes limited to qualifying item categories, buy now pricing, etc. So you're going to want to turn it on and then you can start filling in the details of your products. So here I'm just going to go ahead and upload my default pictures. I'm going to choose these t-shirt pictures for now and then I'm going to continue and fill in the other details. You can also edit your category or add a second category if you need. To edit it, you can just go ahead and click on this arrow over here and you're going to see that there are a selection of categories that you can choose. For now, I'm going to try and search the most relatable category to my product. My products are supposed to be a unisex t-shirt, but somehow if I try to search unisex, the only thing that shows up are just these tags that are mainly men's clothing and so on. But it's fine, I'm just going to go ahead and choose from one of these results. Next, I'm going to fill in the brand details. I don't have a brand for this t-shirt, so I'm going to go ahead and label it as unbranded and then I'm going to fill in the detail for my size type as well as the size. So in this section you can only type in your sizes if you have already select which size type, if you haven't select whether your shirt or your product is regular or big and tall size you will not be able to insert the sizing details. And here I'm just putting in the sizes of the t-shirt that I have and I'm using coma to separate each sizes. I'm going to do the exact same step with the color. As you can see, if I click on just black, I will not be able to insert another color. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it up and then I'm going to type out black and separate it from the white with a comma. There are actually still a lot of details that you can fill in, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it for now and just focus on what's important. And here you can see that I have these variations section, but for some reason, it will not allow me to edit or to add any variations to my product. 
So we're going to learn more and see what did I do wrong while I'm filling in the details of my product. So the first thing that they say is that if we want to create a variation for our product, we will have to sell our product with fixed price instead of through auctions. And then the second thing that we need to pay attention to is we're going to have to go to the pricing sections and then select buy it now from the format drop down. All right, so off screen, I have changed the pricing area, but I also found another problem, which is the details that I've already inserted over here. As you can see, I have already predetermined my sizes and also my color. By doing this, I am not allowing the system to create variations for my product. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that up. And as you can see now, I have an edit option for my variations. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit button and we'll see what we can do with our products. And here are the attributes that we can use to create variations for our product. I'm not going to click on accent or character. My main focus are going to be variation for color and also sizes. As you can see here, I can see color, but there is no sizes options. I think there is still one thing that I did wrong, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the color for now first. And here I'm just adding the color black and white because that is the available color for my product. And as you can see, because I already inserted the default photos, the photos are automatically shown over here. But I would like my variations to show in different photos. I don't want the white shirt variations to show the black t-shirt color. As you can see over here, if anyone tries to see the white t-shirts, the black t-shirts are going to be shown instead. So to avoid that, what you want to do is to click on this use default photos and change it to color instead. And in this section, what you want to do is that you're going to insert your product pictures according to the described color. So in this black t-shirt section, I'm going to upload the black t-shirt pictures. And then after it's done uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on this white t-shirt section and I'm going to add the white t-shirt pictures. And here is the result. As you can see, if you scroll down, you can see that each SKU already have its own pictures so that people can see not just the default picture, which is the black t-shirt, but they can only see the white t-shirt if they scroll around or if they choose the white, white t-shirt option. And here is the preview of my product. If anyone would want to buy my t-shirt, you can see that now they can choose the color of the t-shirt and the pictures are going to show which one is which t-shirt. But as you know, we still have a problem in the sizing area. For some reason, these sizes won't show up in the variation menu. And I'm going to go ahead and find out what I did wrong on that area. Apparently, I also haven't changed the prices and also the quantity of my product. So I'm going to go ahead and change that once we figure out what's wrong with the size. And here is the reason why the sizing variation won't show up. It's because I still haven't unselect the size type. And I'm going to go ahead and unselect that and I'm going to edit my variation once more. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this edit button and I'm going to add more attributes to my variation. Now as you can see, the size type are finally appearing. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then I'm going to click on the size type tag. I'm going to click on regular. You can add more size type if you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and click on regular and then add my sizes. And here is how it looks like. Now you can also have the options to add photos according to your size type or your size. But I'm still going to choose the color one for this tutorial. And as you can see now, we have the drop down menu for size type and also for the size. 
Now you can change the quantity by clicking on the number under the quantity bar and then you can just type out the amount of product that you have. For now, I'm going to say that I have 10 black t-shirt and also 10 white t-shirt and then I'm going to put their price at $25 each. And now I'm going to show you the preview one more time. Here is how it looks like if a customer would like to buy my t-shirt. Now they can choose the color, the size type, as well as the sizing. Now that we're done with the variation, I'm going to show you how you can create your product description with the help of eBay AI. So here we are at the description box. You can type out the description that you want or if you're lazy like me or you don't really know what to type, you could just go ahead and click on this AI description button under the text box. Now once you're done with your descriptions and all of the details that you need to insert, you can go ahead and click list it, but for now I'm just going to save it for later. Now, if you want to create your variation listings from this page over here, you can go ahead and click on create listings and select single listings. Some people made a mistake where they choose multiple listings because they think that multiple listings are the one that are going to create the variations for your listing. But no, if you want to create a variation listings, you're going to go ahead and click on the single listings. And here you're going to go ahead and type out the name, product name, like when we're about to create our first variation listing. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it out over here. And once we're in this area, we want to make sure that all of these tags are not selected. We don't want any size or color to be predetermined. If it's good to go, then we're going to go ahead and click on continue to listing. And from here, the steps are basically the same like the one that I've shown you on the first variation listings. So that's it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.